Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Newsgram. Today, I want to talk to you about your largest organ, your skin. You knew that, right? Skin problems are the worst. They're right there staring us in the face, daring us to stand up to them and do something about it. Well, today we're going to do that. You want healthy skin? I'm going to tell you how you can get it. And I'm going to do it without selling you any products. Seriously, this is not a skincare commercial. So if you're tired of fixing your skin issues with an Instagram filter, then let's find a better way to have real, true, healthy skin. It's really not that hard. What's hard is thinking that I know enough about skincare to get you to sit up and take notice. So we're going to let Amy Ray do that. I learned the whole medical side of skincare and I felt like something was wrong when I was, you know, putting these chemicals and different products on people's skin. It just wasn't adding up for me. When I would do more holistic things with my clients on the side, I saw big changes. Her instincts were pretty good because now Amy Ray Sedler is one of LA's top estheticians. Yes, I said Los Angeles, the place where celebrities live. And yes, many celebrities have trusted Amy Ray, but not for the vanity reasons you might be thinking. However, the show is about you, not them. You clicked on this episode, so I'm kind of hoping that you have a particular interest in skincare. The answers you seek are probably in her new book, Secrets of Skincare, an unconventional approach to healthy skin. But I have to warn you, this is not a beauty makeover. It's more for health than vanity, you know, and our skin can be a great watchman for what's going on internally. So when we learn how to read our skin, we can take control of our health and our skin can be a great indicator of what's going on inside. The first thing she writes about are those harsh chemicals. She says, if you wouldn't eat it, then don't rub it on your skin. I'm paraphrasing, but her experience shows that clean products are the best. Expensive creams and medical grade products are not always the answer. What you want are products that are clean, organic, and 100% safe. I could tell you specifically what ingredients to avoid, but to be completely honest, I can't even pronounce most of them. But they're all there in chapter one, as well as where you can find them. Here's a great tip, and I'll, I'll just read from the book. Try to stay clear of things you breathe in as well, like air fresheners, fabric fresheners, car fresheners, and things you spray in the air. They contain artificial fragrance that may be potentially harmful to your health. I always cringe when I'm in a public restroom and the little air freshener sprays automatically. I think, well, there's a little poison spray. Run out of the bathroom fast, kids. I like to breathe clean air, not chemical air in the bathroom. We get enough pollution as it is without purposely spraying poison into the air. Ugh. Well, I've been in my share of locker rooms, and I would have given just about anything for a little poison spray, but I think you get the point. It might seem extreme, but if you're committed to healthy skin, it's important to realize that there are lots of outside factors that are affecting us, things that we can't control. So be careful with the things that you can control, like hydration. I mean, I live in Arizona, and I love the sunshine, but staying hydrated, it's a daily struggle. A lot of us are walking around chronically dehydrated. And even though we're drinking water, um, we think we're getting hydrated. I have a whole chapter in my book called Water Solutions, because when we're not being hydrated properly, our, our blood gets thick and soupy. There's also another chapter called, are you a raisin or are you a grape? If we think of, you know, a grape that's full of living plumped up water or a dehydrated raisin, um, it's kind of kind of how our skin works. Oh, a raisin, definitely a raisin. And her book goes way beyond drinking water. Did you know that there are good and bad types of water and water bottles? Do you like coffee, alcohol? How about salty foods? They all play a part. Chronic hydration is a huge cause for skin issues and it's all controllable without going to the doctor. So the takeaway here is water is life. If you wanna spend money, invest in good water. What's good water? Read chapter four. I really enjoyed this book and it might seem strange if you know me because while I care about my skin, I often do the very things she says not to do. So her book is a great reminder that it's not that hard to make simple life changes that can have positive results. Can you see why it might be unconventional? She's not selling anything but a healthy lifestyle. And take care of your liver. Our liver plays a very important role in what our skin looks like. Um, It's one of the detox organs. Um, Our skin is also a detox organ. So when we clean up the liver, miracles happen with the skin. I mean, miracles. She talks about foods to avoid and the controversy behind drinking coffee and eating meat. Cutting them both out of your diet might not be realistic for you, and she gets that. But she does a great job of explaining why it's something you might want to think about. 
So what vegetables will give you glowing skin? I'm not going to tell you. But I will say, they're very easy to add to your diet. There are a lot of other suggestions in her book, some that appealed more to my wife than me, like exfoliation and doing an at-home facial, makeup, exercise, and some aesthetic facial treatments that definitely work. Here's the deal. If you're still listening to this, then you have at some point in your life been bothered by skin problems. And if just listening to this podcast hasn't made you want to lead a healthier lifestyle, then try reading her book. It's no-nonsense, common-sense tips that anyone can do without spending a lot of money or even any money. A lot of DIYs, fun things you can do at home that are very simple. They're not expensive. They're easy to do and they're fun. They're fun to do. Check her out online. Read the reviews if you want. Sometimes they're useful. Or you can just download the book. If you're budget-minded, the digital download is like $4. So for that, you get 20 years of skincare experience and a wealth of advice complete with plenty of details from someone who knows what she's talking about. Not a bad deal. Secrets of Skincare, an Unconventional Approach to Healthy Skin by Amy Ray Settler. Her website is secretsofskincare.net. It's very interactive. I'd love to hear from people. I'd love to answer questions. I'm really passionate about helping people find relief for, you know, skin issues. It is as refreshing as a cold glass of natural spring water. And that will do it for this edition of Newsgram from webtalkradio.com. 